Effects, also called signal processors, are to audio as spices are to food. And when applied well, they can enhance your audio experience. Mixcraft bundles a tasty selection of effects, like flanging, which imparts a jet airplane type of sound, delay, 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 auto filtering, which sounds great with guitar and drums, equalization for changing tonal character, reverb that synthesizes an acoustic space, distortion for when you want to rough up a signal, guitar amp simulation, and many more. Mixcraft can also load VST and DirectX compatible plugin effects from third party developers. There are three ways to apply effects in a project. Track insert effects, master effects, and send effects. Inserting an effect into an individual track is like patching a stomp box between a guitar and amp. The effect processes the audio track, then sends the processed sound to the mixer. Open up the effects browser from a track or from the mixer. With the browser open, choose an effect from the drop-down menu. If presets are available, you can choose them from a separate drop-down menu. To open an effect for editing, click on the Edit button, then make your tweaks. Or even if the browser is closed, you can right-click on a track's FX button to open the effect. It's a helpful reality check to compare the processed and bypassed sounds occasionally. Bypass an effect from its interface while editing, or bypass from the browser without having to open up the effect's interface. Also, some effects can be controlled by MIDI. You can create a virtual instrument track and enter MIDI data to control these effects. Inserting an effect in the main mix processes the stereo mix of all the tracks. For example, if you want to add compression to even out the mix's dynamics somewhat, inserting a compressor in the main mix channel alters the dynamics of the entire final mix, not just an individual track. The browser is identical to the one for insert effects. Send effects lets you add an effect to several tracks. The classic example is adding a particular reverb effect to multiple tracks to give the illusion of the tracks playing in a single acoustic space. This requires adding a special send track. You'd insert the reverb as an effect into the send track, then send audio from other tracks to the send track. The send track defaults to being dark blue but it's as easy to change the colors as with the other tracks. As with individual tracks, you can insert an effect into a send track from the track view or the mixer, and the effect browser works the same way. Note that as the tracks sending the audio are already providing a dry signal to the main mix, if a send effect has dry and wet level controls, it's usually best to turn down the dry mix and use only the wet or processed sound. The easiest way to send audio from a track is with the mixer. Let's add a little reverb to the drums, lots of reverb to the guitar, but no reverb to the bass or keyboard. Simply turn up each track's send control for the desired amount of reverb. Right click on the send knob to choose whether the send level follows the track's volume level, called post volume adjustment, or is constant and depends only on the send control level. This is called pre volume adjustment and is less common. You can also have more than one send. Let's add some delay to the guitar, but not the drums, piano, and bass. Insert another send track, and insert the delay effect. Now you can choose which set of send controls to adjust with the send channel drop-down menu. The track view offers an alternate way to access the send level. Click a track's automation button, then choose the desired send. The send knob works the same way as on the mixer, so changing one automatically changes the other. If you don't want a constant amount of send, 
but want to vary the effect or bring it in only for certain sections, accessing Send from a track lets you automate Send changes. For more information, see the Mixcraft University video on automation. If you create a preset you might want to use again, save it. With the Effects interface open, click the Save New Preset button, enter a name, then click OK. Now, this preset joins your list of existing presets. To delete a preset, select it, then click the Remove Selected Preset button. You can chain several effects together in series, called an effect chain. If you want EQ, compressor, delay, and reverb, simply keep choosing more effects the way you would choose a single effect. If there are more effects than can fit in the browser view, scroll through them with the scroll bar or arrow buttons. Mixcraft includes several effect chains presets. If you create a chain you like, you can save it from the effects browser. Click Save New Preset, enter the name, then click OK. This saves not only the chain, but all the effect parameter values as well. As with individual presets, this effect will appear in the list of presets. You can also delete the preset by selecting it and clicking Remove Selected Preset. And here's a cool shortcut. You can open all effects in a chain by right-clicking on a Tracks FX button. The most fun way to explore Mixcraft's effects is to call them up, twist some knobs, and listen to what happens. The help file also includes information on all the effects bundled with Mixcraft.